going on this is of course the show that talks about everything that's pretty much hot all over the place this is chief rocket tv where music fashion and politics collide in association with trail vision i'm your host q nice today this evening we are in what is known as a style house and we got the perfect gentleman today of course we are talking about fashion and we have the perfect gentleman to, to talk to this about. And I'm excited because finally, you know, we are getting around to getting uh, more into fashion and, and what's going on um, with fashion. A lot of times you see us on the red carpet and we're doing a lot of things with celebrities. So we have actually a celebrity with us who's actually on one of uh, the red carpets and we had a chance to quickly interview him. But now this is an exclusive. So we have him here. So it's good to have you again, bro. Man, and good to see you. It's always a pleasure, Mr. Q. Nice. Yes, yes, indeed. I love the ascot, man, by the way. Thank you very much. Thank you. Man, <laughs> so we just, <laughs> we're chilling right now. We got our tea, which was provided by him. We appreciate that so much. Dave, is just, he's got his tea, and we're all good. Shout out to Honest Tea. <laughs> Shout out to Honest Tea, absolutely. So, um, fantastic place you got here in the Style House. Thank um, you, what what our viewers don't see right now, we'll get around to it. We're going to pan around in our second part of our interview, okay. is, is all of the shirts. Um, the pants, the jackets, the vests, uh, the bow ties, the ties, the ascots, the hats, everything that a gentleman would need for a night on the town or for that special event. Let's let's start from the beginning. Tell us about your beginnings and how you got started. Ooh, my beginnings, man. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so much to that. Uh, basically, I'll tell you like this, a real quick version of it. Um, I started off in, you know, developing... Uh, ties and and bow ties and everything. Well, actually, I, for before I even get to that, I actually started off with my own collection, and it was more of a streetwear brand oh, okay. um, with hand painted T-shirts, hand painted hoodies, and started branding myself as uh, this guy that the, always wore these bright colored, elaborate, custom made hoodies. And then you know matured, and and then I got into doing the same color, bright colored ties and bow ties and. And over that, it evolved into I felt like it was nowhere for men to go mm. um, when they needed to be dressed and style. Stylists couldn't, you know, couldn't go about and find new brands. It was just no one-stop shop for everything men's. Right. And so me, by me doing the bow ties and everything, I was actually in the market for a showroom to represent my brand. And um, went downtown, went all over the place looking for somewhere that would highlight a man aesthetic and just kind of just focus on where I want my brand to be placed. I and like that man aesthetic. Yeah, so <laughs> exactly. And, and and I went to showrooms and talked to plenty of my, my own personal friends that sales reps and was nothing around. So I said, well, you know, the opportunity presented itself. Um, and I said, I'm gonna curate my own space. And that's what happened, man. And mm -hmm. that's how the Style House was born because I wanted to provide a service that highlighted um, men's style. Also, it was a one-stop shop for celebrities to come or stylists to come and pull. Mm -hmm. You know, if a stylist had a client, it was running around, ripping and running, they need to just have a place where they could actually dress them and get them prepared. You know, I just wanted to have that one-stop shop for mm -hmm. everything that they need in their men's fashion. Now, let me ask you this, because all of the things that you just mentioned, from ties to uh, to bow ties to ascots and, and different things like that, I also noticed that, peep those frames that you got on, those are hot, and I see that you also have other frames that are here as well, so you also have those available for the gentlemen as well. Yeah, man, because, you know... Um, I have one particular company that I, I really just love their eyewear. One I carry their brand here is called Cyrus Crowns. They design shouts out to them. They design mm -hmm. wooden eyewear right here in downtown LA, man, and their factory is just brilliant. Mm. But um, and then it's another brand that I don't necessarily carry, but I'm a fan of. It's called LA Eyeworks, and um, I love what the marketing director over there talked to me when we had our conversation. He was like, "Man, eyewear is an accessory." Yes. 
as well as just like wearing everyday socks. So my goal between me and LA Eyeworks, we're, what we're trying to do is show men how they can accessorize their look through their eyewear. Okay. So um, that's that's something that I'm really working on this year is part of bringing out and branding and branching out and just getting guys educated on, you know, you could pop your 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 outfit with a nice frame, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it's just you don't have to just stick to your plain blacks. You can go greens. You can go turtle sh tortoise shell. You can go bone. You can go blues. You can go red. It's so many different things nowadays that you can <laughs> do with your frames. And it's, it's exciting to kind of know. And one thing I want to just mention, man, mm -hmm. fellas, ladies love when you dress up. It's not about dressing for the men in the street. It's about dressing for the women. Even if, even if, you're, not a, even if you're not a dude that, you know, care about dressing for the ladies, just women, period, love to see men looking good. And that's one thing that the Style House is bringing back. It's evolving to a place where a guy can come and let your lady know you know what, babe? I just went to see Manny J over there at the Style House, and he got me looking good. I guarantee you, I guarantee you gonna get a lot of action that night, and then she gonna go tell one of her other girlfriends, and then you, you know, then you gonna bring somebody else over here, and that's what it's about. Right. Really dressing for the women. Okay, well, what we're going to do, we're going to go into part two of our interview right here with my man, Manny J, in the Style House. And we're actually going to give you some more. We're going to actually give you a chance to look at, look at those fashions, see what is exactly in here and what he has. So part two coming up, Chief Rocket TV. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. For your fans and for the uh, customers that are out there, Facebook, Twitter, anything like that, where we can catch uh, your movements and the latest of what might be coming out. Man, you can always catch me personally, uh, Manuel Jackson, on Facebook. Um, you can also visit our fan page, Equality Style House. And Equality is spelled E-K-Q-U-A-L-I-T-Y, Style House, H-A-U-S-E. And then EqualityStyleHouse.com, and go it'll link you right to our blog. And you can just become a, fa become a fan and just check us out. And anytime you're looking for style and wardrobe, every king's quality. Let's start right here first with the board tell us about this board as a as a collage of, of fashion that you have up here man this is my inspiration board and i think this wow. this board is just going to be around everlasting now somebody actually my friend of mine lady friend she actually suggested i get rid of the board i said you're crazy oh. because what the board does for people is when they come in they say i want to look like this so i want to look like right this so you know it just helps us show a vision of where you what your style could be that particular time let's move on over to uh, this side of the section really quickly we got some beautiful stuff here and I just want to talk about the exclusivity of this place because even with inside of this look at the treasures that are inside of these drawers right here let's talk a little bit about this this whole concept how did how did this come to be how did you get all of this this is a very classic look right now we're looking at um, and that's exactly, I appreciate you saying that because that's exactly what we was going for. Um, I have mm. to definitely let you all know that one of my partners, Latron, um, Latron Seven Seas, he is responsible for collaborating with us over here at the Style House and curating and bringing this vintage look and bringing this vintage feel along with his creative direction, some of my creative input as well. This is what we come out with, you know. Um, this this whole entire thing, I wanted something to really pop, and red is one of my favorite colors. So when you walk into the style house, this gentleman is the first thing you see, mm -hmm. and this this is a vintage piece as well. And I really wanted to bring the blacks, the browns, and the reds together, because those are pretty the primary, the most prim primary colors that guys go towards. They go to your blacks, they go to your browns, they go to your grays. Mm -hmm. And so when people see this, this is something that a, a, a gentleman can actually not be scared of wearing. Now really quickly over here, uh, you know, just to let our viewers know as well, we're seeing some fantastic stuff. We actually have some, some clothes in here as well. We have suits in here. We have uh, jackets that are in here. We have hats. We, he has shirts and pants. Uh, so there is like a lot of good stuff that is in here. This is just fantastic. Um, don't be surprised if you see me wearing something like this on a red carpet. Because, hey, try that on, Q. I oh, that man. Oh, oh, no. You know? Don't do it to me. You yeah, you got to try. You got to got to try it on. You know? <laughs> I want to just talk about, uh, as Q's kind of drying that on and getting that ready, um, this is one of the brands that I represent. It's called Moves of Norway. Moves of Norway is a new Norwegian brand out of Norway. And, you know, these are some really great people. The uh, tagline is happy clothes 
clothes for happy people made in Europe by really, really pretty blonde girls. Now, this is one of the jackets that I have on. This one is, uh, it, it looks good. You know, it's, it's a little bit small for me, but, you know, we're still able to pull it off. But I, I love the colors in this, um, the blues, um, the hint of red and the hint of kind of like orange you can see in there, the white, and a little bit of tan that you can see right across in there. It's just a wonderful jacket. And the quality of the jacket, especially on the inside, as you can see here, and of course here, this is just fantastic. No doubt about it. And Manny J, we thank you so much for your time. Beautiful place here in the Style House, just you know, for gentlemen who are looking for that little bit of extra something and something different and something special for that evening, whether if it's a party or a special event, whatever the case may be, or if you're going out to dinner, whatever it may be, come here, check out my man Manny J. He dresses me for the red carpet. And I appreciate that. It's a good look. So the things that you see me in, you know, this guy is responsible for. So we definitely appreciate it. So it's good that you had us here. Appreciate really, it, man. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it so much. <laughs>